like a boss. What's up ladies, it's Alex from Mind for Attraction 2.0 and in today's video we're going to be talking about the first thing that guys notice when they talk to a girl. Now, it's not it's not the obvious about your looks, we're not talking about the looks because it's obvious that that's, that's the first thing we, you know, we feel about the person. But the next thing that guys notice about the girl is what dictates the dynamics of the relationship. I'm talking about when you're, when you're talking to a guy, where is your attention? Is your attention on your neediness or is your attention on your senses, which is outward, right? For example, let's say your attention is inward. When your attention is inward, that means you, you are constantly criticizing yourself. You're constantly watching over every step you make. You're constantly trying to not make mistakes. You're constantly projecting your mind into the future. You see, your attention is on your inner voice that's consistently criticizing you. See, that's what I'm talking about being inward because you're in your head. You're thinking about what to say next. So when you're talking to the guy, you might hear him, but you don't listen to him. Again, this is an energy. This is not something that you see directly. This is what motivates your actions. This is like this is like the instrumentals behind the lyrics of a song, right? It's not re the song itself is the lyrics per se, but what gives the what gives the lyrics its livelihood are the instrumentals. So your energy is the instrumental behind your lyrics, which is the words you say and the actions you do, right? People remember the people remember how the song sounds, which is your energy, rather than remembering the specific words to the lyrics, which is the things you do, they are more impacted by your energy than anything else, right? Because your energy is what carries everything that you do, is what influences, is what, it, it, is, it, it, is what people feel when they try to filter the things that you say, you see? So as a guy, if I interact with you and you're hot as hell and I sense neediness in you, I'm not going to... Personally, I'll still, I'll, I'll still, I'll still respect you because that's a value that I try to withhold as much as possible. But most guys, if they have low self-esteem and they sense low self-esteem, they're gonna use you as an ego boost if they, if they have low self-esteem themselves because they also lack it. And so they say they see you, they're like, "Ooh, I like her. She represents value to the world. Let me suck self-esteem from her." So he's gonna do that. So as a result, he's not really gonna take you that seriously. You see, and and what happens with that is that he begins behaving in an attractive way because what happens when you when, when you know that somebody likes you but you don't like them that much, you tend to behave in a, in a very attractive way. And that makes you needier. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. You create a monster when you give away your power to guys like that. So when a guy notices this in a woman, he will have two choices, like I said, right? So what you have to do is shift your focus of your attention from inward to outward, from your thoughts to your physical sensations. This will liven you and change your vibration from low energy to high energy. You see? So when you're talking to a guy, don't, be, don't notice your thoughts. Right? You can notice your thoughts, but don't pay too much attention. If you struggle with that, pay attention to the soles of your feet and feel your, the soles of your feet. Keep your attention at the soles of your feet no matter what happens. What will happen is this. is that It forces you to slow the fuck down. It forces you to slow down. So when you do that, suddenly... When you're talking to a guy, you're, you're not in your head thinking about what to say next. Why is that? Because you're feeling a physical sensation. You're in your, you're, you're, you're feeling your senses. You're not, your attention is, is not inward, it's outward. You're feeling your, so what happens is that you're, the gravitational pull to notice your thoughts is going to be very great. But you want to notice the gravitational pull. You want to notice the energy trying to get you back into your thoughts because that energy is the problem. You want to see the energy and be with it, right? So what's going to happen is that your energy when you interact with a guy is going to change. Automatically, it's going to change. You see, and so when you practice this, guys are going to feel a very relaxed energy from you. They're going to feel very relaxed, very at ease around you. That doesn't mean he's going to like you. He's going to love you. No, no, I'm not talking about that. But I mean, he's going to he's going to find you more warm. And, and it's going to remove the, the number one trait that guys find unattractive in women, and that's being sneaky and seeking validation. It's that simple. And from doing this, you, you're going to slowly change your energy. And look, look, you want to practice this every day. You want to practice what I call body meditation, right? So 10 minutes a day, just feel your whole body. Go from your head, arm, each limb, and just bring awareness to each limb. And notice each limb from inside out, which means feel the inside and feel the outside. Feel the skin. Feel the bones. Feel the muscles. Feel every sensation from that body part. And then go from head to toe. You do it at night and you do it during when you when you wake up. I don't do it that often, to be honest with you. I'll be honest. But when I do do it, I get very present. And when I do do this on a date, women 
instantly see the difference, you see? And that's what I would recommend you to do, all right? Anyways, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction 2.0. Website like, and I'll eat it, all right? Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15. 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's, it's your bodyguard. Without this, your, whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know, now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.